Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you. 13 November, Tuesday morning here, about an hour before London gets in. Euro convincingly broke 113 yesterday, uh, about 640 CET. So a few of the London people probably missed that, uh, which is one of the reasons that um, it stayed offered as a lot of guys were scrambling to get paid um, offering 70s, 80s, and 90s. The 70s got done, but the 80s did not, 90s did not, the high, I believe, was 74. Trade all the way down to 22, now we're at 42. We're trading this course short, uh, as you all know from uh, the Twitter. Looks like we're just going to continue course short. I mean, the kill on this is 113.30. Um, and you just want to be patiently core short this thing. Uh, we've got some European numbers out in the coming days. We got IFO coming out. Uh, we got industrial production. I believe these are Wednesday. Um, just pulling this up now. Not much today. Oh no, we've got Zoo today. Um, and then we've got German CPI, 8 a.m. We got Zoo at 11. So, there will be some numbers today. We're, we're hoping for uh, weaker numbers out of Germany. Uh, and you're just core short this thing. I mean, it is Euro dollar, so it's deep and it's over traded and, you know, it kind of trades like S&Ps for those of you who are familiar with ES, but um, core short is the way. I mean, we're looking for the scene to go down. The target on this is um, sort of here, 110. 110.40, but there will be plenty of buying and selling all the way to 110.40, um, just not only for risk purposes, uh, helping your average, taking some money off the table, um, this is just FX, right, things just don't go in a straight line uh, most of the time. Dollars are same thing. We've been long this thing since '95. Uh, we probably should have sold some at the close last night at 50, but it's all right. Core long. It's kind of the same trade as euro with the risk component baked into it. Uh, so we like dollars are to eventually take out these 86 highs. Core long is the way. Uh, your stop is below 10. We have a pretty tidy average in this, and we will just be trading this from the long side, uh, continuing on. This uh, dollar CNH is worth watching. We don't trade this much, but this 700 level, which has been in the media a lot, uh, is kind of a line in the sand. If this goes, um, and even if you're not trading it, you can use it as a dollar bellwether. It's just a, a sign of massive dollar bullishness. So, we're not too close. Uh, 694.75. We're also not too far, right? I mean, that's, uh, that's a percent away. So, you want to keep an eye on this. A lot of people we know are trading this crude. 11th red day in a row, bearish engulfing yesterday. Uh, I guess it's worth noting that everyone that we know is, is trying to get long crude on, uh, on the dip. I am not sure how this is going to go. It certainly doesn't look like a market I want to buy. I don't really care about the number of red days in crude, and I'm no crude expert, but that shit looks very, very offered. Uh, and you want to wait for a capitulation bar, you want to wait for some sort of um, bullish
bullish signal before um, before you go running into crude and trying to trying to pick a bottom after uh, what is this 20, 17 bucks you know 23 percent from the highs so I guess it's do a bounce but be careful keep it light BTPs we did not pull the trigger yesterday annoyingly heading back down to 118 um, I guess you know it gets more interestingly bearish below 121.36 this is just core short try and sell high ones I don't think selling low ones works too well in BTPs when you're mid-range like this so try and sell some high ones BTPs finally S&P got smashed yesterday Apple uh, dragging everything down uh, just smoke show uh, you know what can you say it just just looks bad we're in a bear market you want to sell rallies uh, my colleague in Paris he loves this DAX lower uh, he's traded that incredibly well it's just kind of constantly short DAX and DAX has kind of been the leader but I prefer trading S&P's and you know we kind of botched those 2816s took profit too early now we're square but we're looking we're waiting one thing to consider is there will be a lot of people saying this is a shoulder this could make a shoulder and this will be a neckline so for an inverted head and shoulders we never ever front run a head and shoulders we never we're not going to we're not going to fade this uh, right shoulder by buying here which it looks like some people are doing this morning that is a trap you want to wait for the pattern to be complete and then trade the neckline like we always do uh, this is something to consider something to look at but um, to me equities look quite bad and it's uh, it's a sell rally dollar yen quickly uh, nothing to do here. It just it's just stuck. It's stuck between the the bid, the bullish dollar, and the risk off yen. Um, just annoying. It's like kind of not fun these days. But one thirteen sixty print yesterday. It's kind of neat. This could be a double bottom, and your neckline here is yesterday's high twenty three. This printed when euro went through. Um, so this is this is something to look at, especially if we st we continue to go risk off. All right, I've said enough. Uh, pretty straightforward. We're we're trading euro core short. We're trading dollar czar core long. Looking at a few of the other metrics to try and get into some good trades, uh, and we're keeping an eye on dollar CNH as a bellwether for the entire dollar complex. Good luck, people. I will uh, see you on Twitter. Ciao.